Hello everyone, Richard from Magic Seal Modeling speaking. Um, this video will go about the um, modification and the inclusion of the electronics uh, of at least part of it. We will not cover the light in this one. We only will we will only uh, cover the uh, modification of the engine to get the um, four Allison turbo props uh, working with the with, with their props. So let's go for it. Looking at the Italian plan of the 148 scale, uh, section 7, we see that we have four engines, yeah, that's uh, quite logic, and we see the different parts uh, which will take place, I mean, where we will assemble everything. So, from there, what we will do is to modify this part, 84E, and transform as well 82E. We will not use 85E, but we will replace it by a 3D printed part. We will see that uh, le 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 later on. And of course, we will include the electric engine over here. Here are the plastic parts in the same uh, sequence. So we do have parts 84E, 82E, and 85E. So 85E, we won't not use it, so I will discard it. We'll have to transform this one, and we have to transform that one, and to add the 3D part over here. We'll come back to this in detail. What's in the box regarding the engine? First of all, this is our engine M40, 4mm diameter, which will fit in, in the 3D uh, part. Um, we do have, so you see, we can we do have two connector over there, and we do have a mail pin. So you will take the mail pin and put it in one of the connector, just to make sure that you will make it um, clockwise, running clockwise or anti-clockwise by removing the pin from this one, you know, and by dropping it in the other one. And so we do have a male and a female pin, which will fit in the circuit board, and depending on the way you will connect it, you will get something clockwise or anti-clockwise. So first thing. Second point, what you do have in the kit is this part. This has been 3D printed part and you see typically from everything which is 3D printed there is a base over there and you need to carefully remove all those four parts, I mean from that base and to get it and to get something similar to this one. That's what you will find regarding the engine. Looking at the material, we will need to transform the C130 plastic kit, of course. We will need those um, drills, quite large. I mean, we have to drill up to four millimeter, let's say. Uh, so be prepared to have three, three and a half and uh, four. Um, this is 0 0.7 and we will use it for the um, uh, for the base of the of the propeller later on. We need a sharp knife because we'll have to cut some uh, plastic uh, plastic parts. We definitely need a conical knife because this one will be key. I mean to have everything aligned. When we'll drill up to four millimeter, of course we will create an oval which will not be a perfect circle. Far from that, but we need a perfect circle to insert our engine, and this guy will bring the oval of something close to 4 mm to exactly what we need to have a perfect fitting and alignment with the engine. We'll see that later on. And of course we need the UV glue, because UV glue is unmissable everywhere. I mean, you will get used to that one. Okay, let's go to work. Second step of modification. We will now um, work out the uh, alignment of the engine uh, into the plastic engine. So we will, we have already discarded 85E, which is gone. We'll have to put the engine, I mean, between those two parts, between 83E and 86E. It will be sandwiched in there and will, uh, um, uh, will be fixed uh, in, in there. And so we will have to get our engine here. That's what we'll do uh, now. 
Those are the actors of the um, of the story. So we do have parts uh, 83E uh, over here. This is the 3D printed part and this is the M40 engine that we'll get in there. So first of all, if you look at the uh, Italy uh, part uh, here, you will see that there is a, a shape in there. So this part is in fact conical. It's larger at the back than in the front. And so it goes this way, right? And of course, the 3D printed has been shaped that way as well. And so you can see that also the um, it's also conical. Um, it's shorter. It's uh, larger at the back and shorter in the direction of my of my hands. So from there, it should perfectly fit into the um, gallery part. And look at this. Look at this. It's perfectly in there. So piece of cake. This one can be glue in there because from now we do have here the oil which will host the engine and from there we can just take our engine and give a gentle push in there whenever it will not fit in there please use the magical tool okay which is the 3d print uh, sorry <laughs> not 3d printed which is the conical knife the conical knife you know work with work with a precision of 0 0.1 millimeter and will expand any um, oval in a perfect circle and align it so in that case we will just use this one you know and work out you know the, the, the so, you, so you can see the the, the the stuff going out okay gently and from there you just take your engine push it gently through you see never force with electronics that can only kill the thing and that will not help so this is my engine aligned from there but i want it to be to to a little bit further in a way will not fix anything at this stage and i just gently push it further with a tooth cleaner and here is the engine and here's the engine too so part number one modification number one job done easy the next step is the transformation of the part 82E. 82E will be between the uh, plastic uh, engine and, uh, and the propeller. And so what we'll do is to remove that exceeding uh, part over there. So let's go, let's go, let's go for it. I'll try to do it with too much blood on the, uh, on the screen. And here we go. Next step will be the modification of our part um, 82E, that one. So we have already removed this uh, bit over here. We don't need it anymore, so I, I will discard it. From there, we need this will be the cover, I mean, of the uh, engine and will encapsulate the engine into the part 83E, as you can see. So we need the engine to go through that one. So um, when you remove the the uh, the tube uh, we I've just discarded, you end up with a, a hole of three millimeter. You have to expand that one. I mean gently to uh, four four dot five. I mean in order to have the engine going through. If I may give you an advice, I mean drill to four millimeter because that's the diameter of the engine. But afterwards you need a little bit, and this is where you will use again the conical knife. I mean you know. And look at this, you know, you see exactly, to, uh, looking at the residue, where it has already do, 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 do the job. And once that's done, I mean, because the precision you do have, you will see that the engine fits perfectly in there. Sorry, it's in the opposite direction. But from there, should be great magic. And this part goes there. And here we go. And we just push back. And from there, oh, sorry. So... Let me t take that again. So, we'll, we'll take the engine and that part, and we just position the engine into there. Let's have a look. Magic in there. So you see, and it doesn't move, it's really, really well aligned. And the other part normally, well, no, naturally, I mean, end up close to that. And here, and here, and here, and here we are. And this is our engine encapsulate perfectly aligned ready to be mounted into the into the into the kit so from there i mean we can glue all, all what we all what we what we what we all what we like mm. 
Our next job now will be to have the base of the propeller prepared, I mean, to go on the shaft of the, uh, of the engine. So, first of all, we will drill at 0 0.7 mm, and you see we are immediately through. And that's one of the issues, because the Italy kit here don't, don't have a lot of plastic over there, and so you see already now um, we cannot have um, a good fitting, because, you know, the plastic go, 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 goes mad. So that's the reason why we will use the magic glue, I mean, to get it. In all your kits, you do have the um, uh, the UV glue, um, and this is what we'll use now. So uh, first of all, we'll take you, you know that guy. We will put a drop of the glue where we do have the hole, you know here. Just put the drop in there, you know. Just get the glue through that, you know, and immediately illuminate. Don't let the glue escape, and now we will illuminate it. Once again, five seconds in the best condition, let's say uh, six, seven, eight. So, I will not sing anything, I mean, to get time passing through. We just have to wait that the glue do its job. Don't put too much glue, because otherwise you will be in trouble afterwards to put the, uh, the propeller. Of course, you can always send uh, UV glue, but uh, it's better not. So I think that now it's a uh, rock solid. Okay, that's great. So now um, rock solid again. So I will now take my part, you know. Okay, and by having again, I mean I will drill now in the glue by be absolutely vertical and to be very, very, very gentle and careful to try to be aligned. I mean on the center part, you know. And this is where I'm drilling everything. And I'm through. Okay, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here we are. So we can see now that the, it's aligned in the in the two. So let's take the engine, okay, and let's have a trial uh, from here. And here we go. Look at this. Wonderful. Job done. Job done. Thanks for the UV glue. It's really magic. This is also the good moment, I mean, to have a trial with the propeller. So, our engine now is in position. We take the propeller and try to get it fixed on the engine. And here we go. And here we go. Look at this. It's a beauty. It doesn't work exactly as it should. So from there, you can even glue and start working on your propeller, if you like, as long as you can get in the engine. Just make sure that you do not have any friction over there. You don't want any resistance by having the propeller, I mean, circling on the engine. So leave a little bit place, okay, and you will glue your propeller from this. And you will glue your propeller from, from this side. And from there, look at the beauty. That's it. So this is or engine which has been transformed and ready to go and pretty well aligned on the plastic kit and also on the electrical engine. I hope that you did love the exercise because we have to repeat that four times. I mean we do have four engine. That's the beauty of the of the C130.